good Saturday morning, afternoon, evening, depending upon where you are in the city, welcome to the Answer of the Lips. Uh, today on our program, we are highlighting a segment of the show called From the Halls of Justice. And I have three outstanding people from our community with us today. Actually, I call it uh, bringing Beverly Hills to the Valley. That's what I call it. And I'm going to introduce all three of them in just a moment. I have a very special co-host with me today who's going to handle from the halls of justice. However, as always, when we open up on the answer of the lips, I'm going to lead us in a short word of prayer. Father God, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this opportunity, I thank you for this community, and I thank you for our wonderful guest in order to inform our community of what's going on. Bless us in Jesus' name, amen. Once again, thank you for joining us on The Answer of the Lips. And uh, with me today, I have as my special co-host, who's going to really be in charge of this interviewing process because I have some high-powered attorneys and judges with me, is a certified family law specialist. His name is Scott M. Colpert, and he's with Colpert and Ravden. Uh, he's a family law specialist who practices in Encino, and he's a partner in the firm of Colpert and Ravden. Um, and he's been featured in Rising Star Magazine with Super Lawyers with his beautiful, can we get a shot of that? He has an absolutely beautiful sister who's his partner and uh, they are Super Lawyers by all means and by every standard. And I am so honored to have him with me today as my co-host. He took time out of his busy schedule to be here. Thank you. <laughs> My other guest with us today, uh, when I actually say that we have brought Beverly Hills to the Valley, I'm not kidding. Uh, Scott used to practice in Beverly Hills. We have with us Mr. Ronald Rosenfeld, who is an attorney and mediator, well respected um, in the field. And uh, the name of your firm, go ahead. Leeds, Winder, and Rosenfeld. Ah, just a little Beverly Hills firm that everybody yes. knows about. <laughs> Thank you for being here with us today. I'm very honored to have you on the show. And a gentleman who is a judge, Judge Richard Denner, appointed by Governor George Duke Majan. He is now retired, and everyone knows him in family law. Now, some people love him. Some people fear him. And, uh, <laughs> so, and that's okay, but they all respect him which is why he's here. And he's one of my favorite because, you know what, Judge Denner, he's very relaxed in any situation. He answers honestly, truthfully, and he's, he, he's just right off the cuff. Nothing bothers him. Nothing shakes this man. So thank you for being here today. We are very honored to have you with us. Um, Mr. Colbert. If you would be so kind, uh, like I said, I'm going to have Scott handle all of this interviewing. I'm going to start the ball rolling because now, Judge Richard Denner, uh, you sat on the bench for how long and you were in Los Angeles Superior Court? Yeah, I, I sat on the bench as a uh, judge for almost 21 years and about another 11 as a Superior Court Commissioner. Yeah. Okay. And so now you are with, is ARC? Our yeah. Okay. ARC, it's um, a little agency that I, I work through to work as a privately compensated judge. Okay, so, and that's where we're going to talk about rent a judge versus mediation. If Is it the same? Is it different? And Mr. Rosenfeld, now you're with a law firm in Beverly Hills, and you act as an attorney and a mediator. So, uh, Mr. Klopert knows all this information already, but just for the regular people <laughs> in our audience, what is mediation? Well, Mediation is a process where a neutral person, myself or anybody else, helps two people who have a dispute reach a resolution. And the unique thing about mediation in California is that it's a voluntary process and that everything that's said in mediation is confidential. So that means if they don't resolve their disputes, they can't go outside of mediation and say, well, in mediation, someone said something and use that against them. So the whole process is that everybody can feel comfortable and everything that they say isn't going to be used against them. And hopefully, when people can discuss the pros and cons of their individual situation, they can see way, their way to a clarification and a resolution. Sorry. Could you tell us how that's different from a settlement conference? Well. Mediation is unique because it's one of the few areas of alternative dispute resolution where the parties themselves make the decision. Whereas a settlement conference, 
you usually have um, attorneys or maybe a judge or a rented judge if you've hired someone like uh, Judge Denner to help you and that person is assisting and telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And it may be adversarial. Each person has their position. Neutral people like a judge is saying, well, your position is not right or wrong. In mediation, people are trying to resolve their disputes on an interest-based level rather than rights. So California law allows you in a divorce case to depart from the law if you agree. Whereas a judge maybe can't do that. He can just tell you what the law is and this is what you ought to do. So I hope I've made myself clear on what a mediation is. All right, and so Judge Denner, how do you get involved in the mediation process? Um, <coughs> well, judges both sitting and retired who sit as, um, as colloquially called rented judges, uh, they will do mediation. Uh, it depends on what you seek them out. This, this area is not entirely clear. Uh, as a sitting judge, of course, uh, I sat many times uh, trying to resolve disputes between parties. Now, when you're sitting as a sitting judge, uh, that is, before a judge retires, you're, you're of course, uh, as Mr. Rosenfeld says, you're, you're advising someone, well, you're, you're going to try to make this point, but I, I think your evidence is going to be a little weak on that. On the other hand, uh, I think your chances of this point being successful, I think, will be. Uh, I th really think a, a, f a fair settlement would kind of be in this area. You're trying to guide them that way, uh, you're, but you're also advising them as to your opinion is as to what you think the outcome come if they in fact try it. So it's it's kind of uh, uh <coughs> it's kind of mediation, quote unquote, but mediation under the guise of the law. That is basically, if you don't resolve it, we have a courtroom <laughs> downstairs and we'll try the case now, type thing. Huh? So how is mediation different from going to court and having a judge decide a case? What <clears throat> There's no beginning or end to mediation, okay? And what I tell people is California law has this book of laws, but the key feature in virtually everything having to do with family law is unless the parties decide otherwise. So it gives them the opportunity, again, to frame a uh, resolution that meets their needs and that may be slightly different or a lot different than their rights but they need to know what their rights are because most people want to negotiate and want to frame a, a resolution that somehow is in the shadow of the law relates to the law I, I found few people that would uh, agree to for example 10 when everybody agrees a judge would only do four for example okay I should say another thing about mediation that maybe differs slightly from rented judge or courtroom mediation is most of um, the kind of mediation that's done in the courtroom or maybe the kind of mediation a rented judge would do would be at the end of the case. The parties have filed, there's discovery, virtually everybody knows their position and a third party might say you're off base or you're wherever you are. Uh, most of my mediations start at the beginning. Maybe they haven't even mm. filed for a divorce. Right. Maybe they don't even have lawyers yet. They just know they don't want to be in the courtroom system for many reasons. And here I am, or other mediators, saying, okay, here's the legal process, here's what's going to happen, and we take them through step by step. And I, and I usually say there's a five-part step. What are the facts? The facts may not be the same. They may have different views of the same facts. The facts suggest the issues. Well, if they've been married for a while, there's obviously spousal support. If they have children, child support, child custody. Then once we got the facts and we have the issues, we start talking about applicable law. Are you going to follow the law or are you going to differ? Get all that done. How do we bargain? How do we settle these things? Write it up, send it down to the courthouse. That's a basic mediation process that started at the beginning and worked its way through the end. Right, and Judge Denner, <coughs> when we do uh, uh, rent to judging versus mediation, how does that work? So someone wants to hire you to be the judge. Do you act as the judge and take objections and testimony, or are you just a, a mediation officer? Uh, <coughs> it depends on what uh, the lawyers are, will do. Um, for a retired judge, you have to agree